on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. What, what are you doing? Quiet. This is gonna be fun. You're gonna want to see this. Once I'm done with Kotsky, then the doctor's next. And finally, a mommy dearest. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad I don't have fire, but air. That I'll have to do. <laughs> but if it was fire, it could make some pretty naughty fireworks. Why are you doing this? This is what you want! Is it? I am the embodiment of your hatred. You hold a deep resentment for all these people who I'm about to kill for you. And then we can finally become the hero we always wanted to be. Hmm. Let's see. No one has noticed us yet, that's good. But, how should I do this? So many possibilities, I could turn the air around him to... He only needs oxygen, really. If I can possibly take that away, I can just steal the breath from him. Create a vacuum so even if he does try to use his quirk, it doesn't work. Uh, so many possibilities. I could slice him to pieces with a wind cutter. <laughs> I could cut off his hands so he's quirkless. What do you think? No, I don't... Ah, uh, you're right. What's with all this overthinking? We should just get it over with, but... I want him to suffer, don't... Don't you... No! You're right. I got it. All I had to do was challenge him, and he... would be too much of an asshole to refuse. His arrogance would prove to be his undoing. Who knows, maybe he'll bring his little friends. <sighs> as soon as that fat one decides to spread wings, I'll slice them off. The one with the stretchy fingers? Wow, that's a lame quirk. Now that you really think about it, I could just chip those off piece by piece every time he activates his quirk. Yeah. Thank you so much. You you really helped me. I'll make each and every one of them quirkless until their spirits are broken. But first, I want this whole power to be a surprise, so sorry I can't be doing any flying. Izuku being controlled by his hatred is literally walking up to Bakugo and punching him in front of everybody. In front of his little friends, in front of his little clique of followers. Who the hell did... Deku? Hi. Who do you think? Shut up. If you want to fight me, meet me here. And bring your friends. They can catch some of this too. Izuku leaving. Bakugo is like he's 
did that just happen? Fifteen minutes go by as, yeah, they're here. Izuku is trying to get back control, but his hatred is a lot more stronger than he really thought. So, now what? We're here. Alright. How you want to do this, Katsuki? One on one? Two on one? Three on one? I don't care. All of you could come at me at once if you want. <laughs> you think you can really beat me? Clark, I don't even need these losers. Hmm. Alright, Bert. Come on. I'm wait waiting for you. His Koski comes in running. As. <laughs> yeah, he starts to notice something's wrong. Boy. What's. Oh, you finally figured it out, huh? I can't. <clears throat> uh, yeah, you see, here's something I learned that I can do. Apparently, I can take your breath away, so to speak. Or, <laughs> just ex expel all the air from a certain area. So you can't breathe. But I can. And you need uh, oxygen in order to cause that little sparky spark, don't you? Go ahead, try using your quirk. But be careful, you might use up all the oxygen you have left. <laughs> you two idiots, come get him! They're unconscious. <laughs> Why are you doing this? We used to be friends. And then you started to ridicule me. Are you asking why I'm doing this? You should be asking how. Let's just say I, I've gained power that far exceeds your pathetic little quirk. I don't even see you as someone that great anymore. Now I have power and you're powerless against me. You know what that means? You're the Deku here. You're the useless one. <laughs> Come on, you can use your quirk if you want. I mean... You won't be able to hear my speech, but <laughs> I can live without that. It's not fair. No. You know, let me tell you about not fair. Being diagnosed quirkless. And my parents have very useful quirks. Being ridiculed by my best friend. At least someone I saw as a friend. Hmm. But it's fine. <sighs> Maybe at least I can all say you are the final at least one of the obstacles I faced in becoming a hero. So once I get rid of you and a couple others, there'll be no one to stop me from becoming a hero. Thank you, Koski, for your contribution in my hero career. You see, Oh, come on, at least stay up. Come on, man. Come on, wake up.
<laughs> oh yeah, right. Oxygen. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, your little lackeys are still alive. I want them to suffer as well. You see, I've thought of several ways to do this. I want you helpless. And I succeeded. Now I want you quirkless. Sadly, I can't. Just remove all your sweat glands by producing liquid and nitroglycerin, but I can at least take away your hands. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that a problem? Don't worry. I mean, yeah, you'll never be able to clap again, and <laughs> you sure as hell won't be able to Cause those explosions the same way. I mean, you can always ball your sweat and then highlight a fuse, but you would need a lighter. But how would you actually use them or throw them, really? It's actually very interesting. Please? What was that? Please don't do this. Hmm. Why not? I don't want to die. Oh, oh, please. I'm not going to kill you yet. Like I said, I want you helpless, quirkless, and then along the lines, uh, then I'll probably end you. <sighs> but don't worry. You won't be alone. Uh, as then, Kasi just with what strength he has left. Just tosses the explosion right into Izuku's face. This giving him just enough willpower to overpower his hatred. Is then what the hell? No Why am I back here? Hmm. Well, Psychoski's like more amazing than you thought. We can't do this. What? We can't do this to Katsuki. <laughs> Just seriously? What? What's the big deal? He has the makings of a great hero. Heroes don't bully those... <sighs> you know what? I'm not getting anywhere with you. So how about this? Me and you fight. What? <sighs> you heard me. I'll fight you here where we are both on equal footing. Only thing is, I have more experience with these air manipulation powers while you are a novice. Try to cough your own head. <laughs> As there is a battle going on within Izuku's mind, him versus himself using aerial attacks. And while, yes, the hatred version of Izuku is a lot m more aggressive, yes, our Izuku is. Uh, Still a cinnamon roll. And by no means is a cold-blooded killer. Luckily, this gives Bago and his friends the chance to leave. Well, wait. Something's not right here. Them, like, what do you mean not right? Izuku just tried to kill us. Let's go. It's like, no, something... That could be, could it be that he's having a quirk awakening? That's nice to hear. Let's go. Them running off without Bakugo as he is seeing this. There is a sphere of pure air that's surrounding Izuku. 
Only thing is, Balco can't see it. All he can do is try to touch it, and nothing. He can't reach Izuku. He can't touch him at all. He's alone in there with himself. As in the inside, yes, air slashes. Izuku using all the techniques he can really think about when it comes to such a versatile quirk. Mainly shields. Then the Bakugo on the outside, he sees these slash marks search of forms around the ground. Him wondering, wait, what's going on? How is he doing this? But also, uh, you know what? This is getting sad. I mean, I commend you for creating a dome of air to protect their escape, but how long can you keep this up? Come on. You know I'm right. They deserve to suffer for what they did. We're just kids. <laughs> Just kids. You're right. I guess so. Uh, yeah, we are just kids, but... <sighs> that hatred you have is real. Too real. You blame them. You hate them for what happened. Yeah. Yeah. They could have encouraged you, but what did they do? They said, give up on your dream. Are you saying you can forgive them for that? Yes! What if, what if you didn't get power? I could still forgive them. It's not them their fault they don't mom did nothing wrong she just tried to comfort me that doctor was just trying to tell the truth because he might have been worthy a little worried about me or something Koski everyone praised him we praised him about how great his quirk was it's our fault he's so arrogant Mom blames herself because maybe her quirk is too weak or something. Who, who knows? We didn't ask. The quirk daughter was just doing his job, trying to minimize on the psychological damage. You hate them. I hate them. So why not we exact our revenge on them? Why are you so forgiving? Wait, you don't hate them, do you? What? You hate me. <laughs> How can I hate myself? In that case, stop fighting, fighting with me. And fight with me. What? Come on. Trust me. I trust you. I... Yeah, right. After all I've done, how could you? How are you going to forgive Izuku hugging the embodiment of his hatred as is crying? I do hate you. You're, you're so much just sitting in a roll. Yes, yes, I did an Naruto moment. Don't judge me, and I love it. And this is when the wind slashes on the outside stop, and the air dome dissipates. Koski helping Izuku up. I'm sorry. 
for what? Being a jerk. <laughs> I'm sorry too for almost killing you. Uh, let's just say, let's just agree that we're both uh, a little much. Yeah. Let's let's try not to go through that again. Deal. <laughs>